I've had this coffee sitting in my pantry for like a year, and considering I don't really want to drink it anymore, I figured it could be fun to try to extract caffeine from it. To get started, I basically just want to make an extremely strong cup of coffee, and I do that by adding a bunch of the grinds to a 1 liter beaker and then dumping a bunch of boiling water over top. I only ended up using the bag on the left, and I didn't record mass as every different type of coffee has a different caffeine content, so calculating percent yield really wouldn't make sense. Anyway, the next step is to filter this off like if you were making a normal cup of coffee, but I decided to use a vacuum filter to sort of expedite the process considering I have so much volume here. I did find it funny that the one time I didn't use a coffee filter to filter was for making coffee. Take note that caffeine is most soluble in hot, slightly alkaline water, so I rinsed the grinds at the end with 50 milliliters of boiling water with a bit of sodium bicarbonate dissolved in it. I ended up with way more coffee than I want to process, so I dumped what was in the flask and boiled what was in the beaker down to 400 milliliters before adding it to a separatory funnel. On top of this, I add about 55 milliliters of chloroform, which is going to extract the caffeine from the solution. DCM or ethyl acetate can be used here instead, but caffeine has far higher solubility in chloroform than any other organic solvent, so it's the best choice here. Chloroform is also denser than water and insoluble in it, so it forms a lower organic layer. I now gently shake my separatory funnel to help mix the two and extract as much caffeine as possible. Gentle shaking is important because aggressive shaking risks forming an emulsion between the coffee and the chloroform, which is really hard to separate. After shaking, I wait about 15 minutes for the layers to fully separate and I drain off my lower chloroform layer. This layer should contain most of my caffeine, so the upper coffee layer is discarded. I now need to evaporate my chloroform to get my crude caffeine, but I decide to distill it off instead so I can save it because chloroform is kind of annoying to make and I don't really want to waste it. A rotary evaporator would be ideal here, but a core focus of this channel is to make chemistry as accessible as possible, and a rotary evaporator is not a very accessible piece of equipment. While all my glassware here was a couple hundred dollars, a rotary evaporator would be a couple thousand. Anyway, once all the chloroform is evaporated off, I'm left with this crude caffeine that contains some water and a good amount of discoloration. Typically in lab to purify an organic product, we use a technique called recrystallization, which is typically done in water. I tried it here in the usual fashion by dissolving my product in excess water, boiling some of the excess off, and then putting it in the freezer to help crystals form. However, only really small crystals formed, which is weird because this amount of caffeine should not be able to dissolve in this volume of water. My next idea was to add more chloroform and make two batches with one hopefully higher purity than the other. The idea here is that the chloroform would dissolve some of the caffeine, but all of the organic contaminants, which would give me a dirtier product, and then the upper water layer, when evaporated, would crystallize and give me a smaller, but purer product. To that end, I drained off the lower chloroform layer and dried off all the chloroform on the hot plate, and then I drained off the upper water layer and drove as much moisture as I could off on the hot plate as you can see here. This was then placed in the freezer to crystallize, and this time I got a really thick slab of caffeine, which I'm kind of surprised by. The chloroform layer gave me a much smaller, dirtier product, but regardless, I transferred both to a vacuum filter to try to clean them up as much as I can. To do this, I rinse both thoroughly in freezing cold diethyl ether, and this is done because caffeine is basically insoluble in diethyl ether, while any contaminant should dissolve just fine and be pulled away by the vacuum. It's around this point that I start to get sick of this project, and if you really want caffeine, I would highly recommend extracting it from pills instead of coffee. Caffeine just forms these really small crystals that are tough to work with, so using pills gives you a higher margin of error and a purer product. In any case, once the washing is complete, I scrape my reasonably pure product onto watch glasses to dry, and I got around 1.8 grams of caffeine total. While this is a lot of caffeine, it's not really a lot considering how much coffee I started with, and I was never able to fully remove the discoloration. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it interesting, consider giving me a follow.